In this video, I'll be talking about a new and recent Minecraft server which you might not know about because it's been released literally last month. Anyway, the server is called Hoplite. It's a Minecraft UHC server with over a thousand players. It was started by SpeedSilver, a prominent YouTuber who uploads only about once a month. Most of the videos on this server are really popular and get millions of views, and almost small creators are getting thousands with ease too. In this video, I'll be talking about how Hoplite mastered Minecraft and managed to get every single creator to play on it. Anyway, let's get right into the video. As you all know, my Minecraft Bed Wars has been getting really boring recently, so the majority of Bed Wars players have begun to play this game mode. The best part about this server is the PvP is really different, so 1.8 and 1.9 players are able to enjoy it simultaneously. Part 1. The Death of UHC If you don't know, this is Minecraft UHC in 2022. B-hoppers, hackers, and basically every kind of cheater just playing the game and destroying people. I think that a prominent reason Hoplite is proving so successful is because A, the death of UHC, and B, Hoplite is one of the few servers which has provided a unique experience of PvP and combat in general. That's why all videos on this, no matter how simple, are getting lots and lots of views. Honestly, most of the content creators who are playing this are really varied, from Bed Wars YouTubers to SMP creators, including RecRap2, probably the largest creator on this entire server. Anyway, my point is that the PvP on the server has proved really different, it, the community has proved really nice. Hypixel UHC, like here's a screenshot of Hypixel UHC, there's literally one player online in 2023. It's basically dead, there's no one to queue, no cheaters, just no one to queue at all. I think Hypixel UHC has died mostly because players really prefer to play 1.19 UHC or just UHC duels in general. Because honestly, who wants to play for 40 minutes of just plain old grinding just to die in a game by accident? That makes Hoplite really different because the PvP here is kind of different. So no one, not 1.19 or 1.8 players has an advantage and it's really hard to cheat on the server because the anti-cheat is really good, I've heard people say. Anyway, to summarize, here is basically um, a Hypixel Forums post about exactly why Hypixel UHC failed in the end. Here it is, I'll show it on screen just for you to see here. Part 2. Why it's doomed. Honestly, the first reason I think that Hoplite will never prove successful as a server because it's a one-trick pony. The only thing it has to offer is its UHC game mode which, although it's interesting, will get boring after some time. That's the main reason that Hypixel UHC died. Second of all, their anti-cheat is quite questionable when it comes to things like X-Ray, so I feel like X-Rays and other types of cheaters will become really prominent on the server in the future. Thirdly, I think that Hyp while Hoplite is a really good server, it's NA hosted, which could lead to a lot of bad ping from other players who are from different regions, and this is one thing that Hoplite should really look forward to changing, because having multiple proxies makes the player base really varied and overall enriches the experience for all the players. Secondly, or like the second topic, is the PvP. Having super buffed weapons can be really irritating for players because once the community develops strategies, they'll begin speedrunning certain weapons and finding glitches to make the weapons even more better. Such as the Sonic Crossbow, which is literally overtaken YouTube in Hoplite, is this buffed weapon that makes huge explosions and damage. Here on screen, I literally play a clip of a player whose 12 hearts got destroyed by some kind of OP weapon that was recently added. Adding OP weapons is a really cheap trick because while players will really enjoy OP weapons for about 2 hours or 2 minutes really, after a while it gets really boring because PvP is extremely fast. Which leads me to my other topic that since you can't practice the PvP, the practically the only way to play with these emerald swords and with these fancy looking tools is just the queue hoplite games which if you didn't know takes 40 minutes. Anyway, honestly, that's about it for this video. I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe. I'm really trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year, and thank you. Bye.